Whale Eggs Documentary. Hope you enjoy. Okay, so we're just getting everything ready. We've got okay, the so eggs. We have put water in two levels, okay, to have 65% humidity. This is what we use for watering. We have our eggs here. Now, this is the egg turner. So, once the embryo grows, what happens is it gets stuck to one side of the egg and that's when it dies. Mm. So that's why the chickens keep moving. So that's why we have an egg turner. So we got the quail eggs from a local farmer and uh, these are uh, button quail eggs. Hopefully they will hatch in 15 days. Once you have placed all of the eggs in the incubator, you want to find the best way to put them all in and rotate them a few times to ensure that every egg is moving. So try experimenting a little bit with it. You can see it moving. If you don't have an automatic turner, then you have to turn it four times a day. And so the waiting process began. Here I'll show you some footage of candling. This was on the seventh day and essentially what you want to be looking for is a dark spot with veins running all throughout the egg. If it looks like that, that means it has life. There's a baby! <gasps> yeah. Is it just me or do I feel the heart beating? There is a heart beat. <gasps> I'm done. <gasps> there is a beat, right? Yeah. <gasps> oh, I see. I see. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Let's put it back. Let's... Then finally came the hatching day. Now, I really recommend that you make a time lapse of this since it's really pretty and you'll probably want to. And so, yeah, you can just watch it hatch. So my dad actually made a conductor for them and put some paper towels and a bottle cap and some stones inside so that they don't drown in the water. But this was just a little fail because the light got a bit too warm. Also, make sure to keep a temperature monitor in there so you can check what temperature there is because you don't want to, to overheat. So, um because for us it was a really close call and the temperature went all the way up to 120 degrees and you want it to stay at 100. If you're getting a heat lamp, I recommend getting a heat lamp that you can control the temperature um, so it won't get too hot or too cold. We bought a new aquarium for the baby quails so that they'd have more room to run and I gotta say, it made them pretty fast. Also, we have six baby quails. They're all nice, happy, and healthy. But there's only one that has a bit of a leg problem, but it should get fixed over time. As you can see, we've made kind of an ecosystem in itself, but we're yet to add some more things. And on the bottom, We've added some wood chips so that they could get some more grip while they run. They seem to like it and we put some of their food on a paper towel. Now this may seem a bit harsh but we gotta talk about it because it's important. So nine hatched but sadly three died. Two were buried together and one was buried separately. The first ones that were buried were Cookie. And the second ones 
were Lizzie and Buzzy. Hope you enjoyed and that this video helped you in some way. Bye!